Okay, we're back. <clears throat> Doing a little uh, Northern Canada recycling. Part of the recycling process up here in the north is uh, taking paper products and uh, returning them back to nature. It's very efficient. Landfills don't quit, fill up so quickly. Anyways, the um, solar array is done. Take a quick walk over there. So this is the array from behind. It's uh, 18 panels, uh, if I remember correctly, each panel can deliver up to uh, 450 or so watts of energy. So multiply that by 18. These are bifacial, so in the snow, uh, excuse me, with the snow in the winter time, any light reflected from the sun, which if you've been in the snow, you know, can be quite a lot. A lot. Uh, that will enhance the uh, generation, especially with the shorter days. This is a, uh, a shut off, an isolator, I guess it says. Anyways, it cuts the power. They filled in the ditch here. And there's the generator that, uh, that we got to uh, supply energy on the winter days. So this is the uh, generator that we're gonna use. I'm gonna build a little shed around this thing to help protect it from the elements. Not quite as elaborate as the other one, but uh, uh, give it a roof and a little bit of uh, siding. Put a couple of two by fours there by the wheels just to help it from moving around too much. Finding that cord, which is a, a 240 amp, 30, excuse me, 240 volt, 30 amp cord, uh, was not easy, but I found it. It's not readily available. And it plugs into here, and that leads to the uh, inverter charger. Um, this is a dual fuel. Uh, you can make that out. It's uh, 10,000 starting watts and 8,000 continuous watts. Uh, yeah, that's with gasoline. With um, propane, it's 9,000 starting and 7,200 continuous. Um, so I got the propane tank here. It's a bit of a long story, but if you do research on generators, uh, they can be a bit of a pain because um, fuel, the ethanol and, and the additives, unless you get good clean fuel, it can gunk up the system. And there's more I can say about that, but that's, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. So now the inside. Okay, now we're inside the shed. It's the fuse box, the breaker panel. Um, the main, this, uh, these two circuits are for, uh, these receptacles that head outside. That's what the RV is plugged into right now. And that's just a general everyday receptacle. I might have them flipped backwards, but you get the idea. And this one here, I believe is rel with related to this here, which is a high amp, uh, circuit breaker. Okay. This is the system that's charging. Um, I'll zoom in in a minute. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward, but you got this uh, here showing what the solar panels are bringing in. So it's 1.6 uh, kilowatts, 1.7. Well, I guess, you know, it depends on where the sun is in relation to uh, cloud coverage and so on. We're currently using 1.46 kilowatts. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Uh, and the trailer, that's the load. That's the air conditioner and other things. The next one over is the battery. It says minus 20. And um, that's just the, the difference of the 1.6 that the system is using to keep the batteries at 100%. So uh, quite simply, the system sends solar energy directly to the load when the batteries are topped off and uh, uh, uses whatever's different to maintain the batteries. This one here is if we had a grid set up and we could send uh, power into the grid, you know, hydro. All right, I'll show you the batteries. So this is the battery box. It's quite large. Um, 
that's a little fan here because there's a uh, uh, hydrogen and sulfur I think he said uh, gas off gassing from the batteries over time and then there's a little fan in there that directs it up and outside of the building so nobody gets uh, poisoned I'll open this up okay a little difficult to open this thing up one-handed but um, that's foam insulation all around this uh, box on the inside as well around the outside you can't see it but it's on the bottom and so this protects it in the winter and these are the batteries they are uh, well there is 12 of them and they're four volts each and uh, connected in the, in the series in parallel uh, oh there's a hydrometer for testing the batteries I got to um, check the gravity level of the batteries periodically top them up with um, uh, distilled water every three months or so but um, that's the battery thought so this uh, protects the system. Uh, insulates it for the winter. And uh, that's basically it. There's a Wi-Fi connection here. So you can use an app to connect to this and see how it's doing. Um, and then the generator comes in through here. This cable feeds the system when when necessary. Um, it's a pretty pretty complex system actually, but uh, uh, that's it in a nutshell. It's a pretty uh, advanced um, charger inverter charger. I think that's it. The door is on its way. I'm gonna make something temporary for the meantime. For today though, this will be my door. To keep the dogs out and critters it does help keep a little bit of rain out this system is rated for exterior outdoor use so i'm not too worried about it but i am going to cover this up and uh big shout out to robert and and but robert helped me with the framing as i mentioned in other videos and uh richard let me help me with the roof um gave me some tips and advice on how to do it and uh, got me started on the tin my first time turned out okay it was fascinating but uh, rewarding you might be wondering why there's three screws there on the end that's uh, it's a trade secret but uh, since that information was given to me free it's just a sign